Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, we're still continuing with the Thermix series, installing some packages on Thermix on Android. I'm still having this connection on my Android phone, SSH connection. In this video, I have another cool trick for you, another cool program that you can install. For those who would like to develop apps, Java apps on their phones, they can install OpenGDK 17. All you have to do is to run two or three commands and you're good to go. You wait for the installation to be done and then you can develop, you'll have your Java virtual machine, Java uh, development kit, because GDK stands for Java development kit, which is what you need for the full Java uh, development as I guess. So the first command is pkg update. This is optional if you if you run it before you don't need to run it just like I did. I ran it some time ago. PKG update and PKG upgrade to upgrade and update your repositories and your package list. That's the best the description and your uh, packages on your uh, system. Next thing is to install your OpenGDK. 17 this the version that we have here here is 17 the newest version that's possible to be installed you just run this command pkg install open gdk 17 like this enter and then another you give it y enter it stays some time the package is kind of big almost uh, 250 megabytes we pause the video and then we come back after it has finish the download alright our uh, installation is almost done now it's done our open JDK is installed the uh, version 17 if we want to check we can run Java yes if we get this output it means that the Java compiler or Java virtual machine yes the, the Java, Java compiler is called Java virtual machine as I guess or uh, I don't know I forgot there is the bytecode Java compiler. Uh, yes, it's no Java virtual machine is to run the bytecode. The compiler, or yeah, the compiler is to make it into the bytecode. Or it's this is not the time to tell about all of that. You can look for it yourself. I guess when uh, as long as you are in this video, you know already those details. I forgot them. I'm sorry. I forgot them. I'm sorry for it. So our Java is installed. You can have it, you can see here already, whenever you want to check, you can run also Java V, no, uh, Java dash dash version, like this, and you have it already here, you have runtime environment, and the internal 64-bit server VM, so it's installed, yeah, I hope you benefit from this, and I believe it's a really cool thing. Uh, let me say that sometimes the connection is not uh, persistent, the SSH connection. Uh, that's just like it happened to me in the previous video, the connection was stopped. Not only one video, but more than one. So you need to keep that in mind, but it's not a, a very bad issue. You can go back and establish the connection again. I guess it can be uh, SSH problem, it can be my phone's problem, it can be anything. Maybe the laptop's problem or the computer's problem. Can be. So never mind. Our Java is installed. I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in another one.